Hello everybody, my name is Dude, welcome back to- oh! Let's go, the doctor's waiting for us. Could you wait a minute, Uh, what now? What now, we're almost done, we need to- I wanna ask you something first, Kawara. You lied, did you- know what about- about what? What did I lie about? What do I have to lie about? Huh? Lied me? I don't know why you would lie about that. Or maybe you forgot? Even though it was just yesterday. What well, happened yesterday? After school? Like I said to you, yeah, I don't know anything about it. We have to ask the doctor. I see. Let's go on then. Well, okay then. Whatever. Mr. Nanaki follows Angel down towards the innermost room. I've been trying to get find the truth about Dude Butt's death this, since this morning. Why would I lie? Maybe Mr. Nanaki misunderstood something? That seems too simple. A little bit, yeah. It's maybe something. Oh, hello. Contrast to the rooms above, this area is dark and filthy. This must be where the fire was five years ago. Those, well, I was gonna say, are those bl is that dried blood or burns? Those are burns. I feel like you can smell the soot just by looking at the walls here. Nike threw himself into the sea of fire here to end the experiments. Wonder what I would have done in this place. I have ended it all like him, or you're late, Mr. Kawara. I've grown tired of waiting. Hey, fuckface. I would ask how you're doing, but I really don't care. In fact, I hope you have, like, something in your throat that's about to get caught in there and you're gonna die because I hate your guts. The Doc Saucer Water Scene! Doctor. Doctor? It wasn't just Dude but He killed the Headmaster as well. If it weren't for you, the boy who went outside would've, wouldn't have been... Why are you doing this? Must I repeat myself? I told you before, I merely disassembled Miss McFragle after the fact. I did not kill her. You think I care? Hmm, it would appear that you need some assistance. I told you before, but you should already have everything you need to answer your question. Who killed McFragle dude but? I have none of- I have none of this information. So far, all I've got is, like, vague things about, like, a bird virus? Unless I am a carrier of the bird virus and I accidentally killed her? It's still not my fault. But just saying. I didn't knowingly kill anybody. Ryota didn't knowingly kill anybody. Is that a huge issue? Now listen to the Dark Saucer's words, Textoris Melodia Funis. You, he will lay a spell on you! Perhaps the peanut gallery could keep its thoughts to itself? Nah. I like the peanut gallery. Oh. Well, an iron grill so drops behind me like an evil wizard's port portcullis. What? I'm cut off. Oh dear, we appear to be shut in. Oh dear. Oh dear, it appears we have been shut in this little cage thing. Oh, the dark spell! What are you doing? Nothing at all. I simply have no business with them. I was waiting for you, Mr. Kawara. Now let us return to our conversation. Our conversation about the truth you seek. You've done unbelievably cruel things, Doctor. You were involved in the medical center here, too. Nothing you say to me will change my mind. How pugnacious of you. Or however you pronounce that. You are lacking in logic. What I may or may not have done has little to do with the truth of my words. I was employed at this facility from the beginning. No doubt you have always deduced that I was working on Operation Hotiful. Maybe. The plan to wipe out humanity with a Karen virus. Precisely. Oh, it does make me so happy when the students read he ahead and come prepared for the lecture. You are exemplary. What? The strain we isolated from the original host was extremely powerful. Quite possibly the deadliest in human history. However, strains of such lethality tend to be fragile themselves. The Karen virus was no exception. Um... It cannot last very long outside of a host's body. In order to deliver it to the enemy, we, have to, we would have to send live carriers into their society and allow it to spread via airborne infection. This proved troublesome. Karen virus, in addition to being harmless to birds, is ill-equipped to establish itself in our bodies. Jishiro Nagaki, the original host, had a rare genetic condition which resulted in a slightly compromised immune system. In his body alone, was Karen able to safely reside? Uh, Alas, he refused to cooperate. He 
You forced them to kill human prisoners. If it weren't for your experiments, he would have never killed himself. Indeed. It had not occurred to us that the tests of the strain's effects would harm his mental health. Not really a mental health thing you're killing. You're causing him to kill people he didn't want to kill in the first place. That's kind of thing there, young. Blech. Spitting everywhere. Kind of a not cool thing to do, you know? We expected, we expected that he would be glad of the chance to avenge himself on humanity, but sadly it was not so, and we lost our sample. The project was put on an indefinite hold with his death. But thankfully, we did not lose his corpse in its entirety. We preserved his remains and kept him to this day. I have been waiting for a new carrier to arrive. Am I the carrier? I don't think it was a very labor-intensive project. Isn't there a better way? Probably not. Quite right. I digress a little. But there was a reason for our methods. It did not take me long to come up with a better plan. We need to... We need only compromise the subject's immune system, creating a compatibility li Oh. Oh. They die. Indeed. Even if the subject were able to become a carrier for the Karen virus, if they died to some other infection, it would be all for naught. Which is why I was very careful with who I chose. I worked on the subject over time, slowly weakening his immune system. I suppose I should count myself lucky that I achieved my goal in only a year. I'm the carrier. Rio is the carrier. Great. Full marks. My head hurts. Almost as if some strange creature is wriggling around deep inside my brain. You okay, Ryota? Mr. Nanaki said you were coming here, so I wanted to make sure you are all right. Dude butt came to the infirmary to... Oh, fuck. Okay, I kind of had a feeling. After hearing about the Karen virus and this, it's slow, yeah. I'm sure you can answer this. What was it that you forgot? I saw. I saw her. Everything is hazy. I think my stomach is acting up again. I think the medicine Dr. Iwamine gave gives me and lie down, but my body still feels heavy. I'm tired. You okay, Ryota? Yeah, I'm fine now. Mr. Nanaki said you were coming here, so I wanted to make sure you were alright. But it's reaching towards me. Wanna go home? I'll walk you. Her hand stops. She but falls to her knees, clutching her chest. But I can't breathe. Oh, she can't breathe. This is bad. Mother said to get home early. Everything feels strange, almost like it's a dream. I need to go home. What? I left her there? Ryota left you? Really? You left me there? She fell down before my eyes and then... The experiment was a resounding success. Miss McFregal displayed the archetypical, the archi- Ha! Archetyp- Word! Symptoms of a human infected with Karen virus and passed away. I- Once the human- Once the virus is inside a human body, it shuts down the respiratory system in a matter of minutes. Technically speaking, it causes an overreaction of the immune system, which leads to widespread- uh, Apoptis- uh, Apoptosis in the lungs, but more simply, any human who comes in contact with you will die. Oh, boy. You're lying. Your butt and I were together since we were children. Of course, I only administered the live virus to you yesterday. All the things I've done to you over the past year have been in preparation for it. Do you recognize this? The scarecrow's head? What about it? Yes, alas, the body is now useless, but I shall tell you about Labor 9. The being you call the Scarecrow. It is one of the labor model new humans developed by Dove Party researchers, but denounced as unethical. We birds have advanced quickly, but our physical capabilities are still far behind those of the human race. These new creatures were livestock, if you will, to compensate for that. The labor series was a great step towards the beautiful idea of coexistence with humans. With a human's head mounted inside of an artificial body, they were durable and able to differ capable of difficult tasks. Of course, they never entered development. The project is having been shut down early due to ethical complaints. However, I carried on the Dove Party researchers' will and created this prototype to be my sidekick. I didn't want too many other people snooping around and disturbing our investigation, so I had it patrol the building. 
And now the next question is, what is inside this bag? Well, you're a sick fuck. I'd imagine it's my head. A human's head. No, no, close, but you have to be more specific. Well, it is a human head, of course. What else could it be? But it's the I'm the only human in this whole thing. I believe we had Miss McFragle's head sent to your classroom, but... Did you notice anything missing? Missing from what? I found her in the box. I was too shocked to be looking for clues. I may well have missed something. Wait. He doesn't mean... He bets brain. My... Br oh. Oh, okay. Great. Great! Fucking great! <sighs> kind of... Mm. I'm Frankenstein now. Or Frankenstein. I'm Frankenstein now! Great! Great! Miss McFraggle did come to meet you quite frequently. Of course, having been placed in Labor 9, she has lost much of her personality. And she's... alive? But her body's gone. All that's left is her brain. Can we still call that alive? I mean, if I get my personality back, yeah, but, uh, I mean, not alive. I don't know anymore. Can you save her? That is a difficult question. We tend to think of there being a definite border between life and death, but really it's quite vague. The personality still remained in this world up until a few minutes ago. But, you gave poor Labor 9 quite a shock, shall we say. So, Ryota killed me. Oh, if I... If the pain receptors of the brain are kind of going at that point, I'd imagine I'd be in a great deal of pain, so... Thank you, Ryota. The, the, the... Oh, last Miss McFriggle's brain is no doubt irreversibly damaged. The wonders of modern medicine can do nothing for her now, but sigh and shake their heads. Yesterday her body, and today her mind. I'm a far more twisted, a far more twisted villain than I could ever hope to be, Mr. Kawara. I killed dude, but... It was my fault all- No, don't you dare blame yourself. You may have been the one to accidentally do it, but the way I see it, the doctor still did it. So, no, you're fine. I do not blame you, I blame the doctor. This was all arranged for you. I had Labor 9, Mr. Sakazaki, and the Headmaster help you along in your investigation. You are but one step from the end now. You must remember one more thing. What was it that you and Miss McFregle told me long ago? Come, follow me. What? Holds out his wing. What lies beond here? You has has gone. The one who killed her was here from the beginning. I had nothing more to lose. Alright, are you serious right now? You're gonna... Mm. Why take stars, Melodia Funus? The demon spawns are the thickest that way. You will not be able to return! That's right, the doctor's probably gonna do something unspeakably horrible to you, Kawara. Come back. Yeah. Don't you... <laughs> Thank you for bringing Mr. Kawara this far, you two. And now, goodbye. What? Goodbye? Oh dear. This looks bad. You suppose it's poison gas? It's presence. Mr. Phantom, the Avatar of my asthma! You do take everything in stride, don't you, Higure? You're just gonna let them? Do humans lie in a twisted pile? They are dude butts par- Oh. She said they work as mediators between birds and humans. They are trying to say something to the humans barricaded on the other side of the wall, but they received only bullets as a reply. The death of her parents became a signal. The roots surrounding the little house crossed the wall as one. I can hear gunfire from inside. I can hear humans and birds screaming. We could do nothing but stand outside and watch. And then the stranger came, and spoke to us. Is there anything you desire? I will grant any wish for you. So tell me. I answered, I don't want these things to happen anymore. My wish is for a world where humans and birds no longer fight. Even if I die, I want a, there to be peace. Dude but continued, I agree. I do anything to make Ryota's wish come true. The stranger nodded. Might not be possible right now, but one day I will make it happen. What? We were children, that's right. That was you. That was the other thing you had forgotten. 
You remembered, I see. Seriously? You! Of all people! Of all the fucked up bullshit! I had to go through in the other routes because of you! And this shit! I still want you dead. And you killed me in another timeline. In this one, you did kill me. I don't care what kind of promise that was. It's no. That that I, I'm not accepting that. It's not cool. Okay, maybe in this timeline it's okay, but the last few? Fuck you! Fuck you! Humans barricaded themselves in a building not far from where we lived. The best parents were shot by the other humans and many birds and humans were killed in the ensuing gunfight, and I met the doctor. As for a world in which humans and birds no longer fight. You and Miss McFragle both said that you would be glad to die to bring it about. So I am carrying out your wish, just as you had stated it. Even symbiotic relationships are not free from strife. In order to end the wars between humans and birds forever, one race would be com have to be completely destroyed, you see. Why did you choose me back then? Choose you. Why did I ask you what your wish was, you mean? I assure you, it was not a coincidence. I'm not so bored as to wander around granting wishes willy-nilly. I, too, had made a promise to grant your wish. Preliminary test yesterday was a resounding success. You need only transfer the original lysomines. Lysome. Lyso. Lysosomes. Fujisha and Nagaki to you, and everything will be in place. I have granted your wish. Though I did make you jump through a few hoops, so you would remember your wish and understand my intentions. The least you could do, at least acknowledge what I have done for you. Mm -hmm. I don't care about anything now. Dude Butt is gone. My wish was destroyed everything. Nothing good has ever happened. If this is what my life is to be like, I wish I'd never been born. I don't want to see anything anymore. Don't be anxious. You have no will to resist, so soon you'll forget it all. Good night, Mr. Kawara. What? Did he kill me too? My crimson brush is back. <coughs> Talking will just make it worse, Higure. Seems to be leaking quite slowly. Glad we have a little more time, but it is getting hard to breathe. Oh, you coward! Come out and fight! <coughs> what? Come! Come! What? Hold on just a little longer, we'll get you out of there. I'll try to open the cage. Oko, you stay to the gas. Oko, fuck the whole file! Don't fail, Oko-san. Save them! Ah, much better. No one can say you slack off as a student president, Shirogane. I come to press the law for Kathas. Are you two alone? Where did Kawara go? Are you suffering? The real and water off and got off. No, he didn't. He got carried off by the doctor. Carried off? Oh no! No, no, the monster is making him drink that. The problem is not over there. Wow. Hey, yeah, that's the that's the worst thing that could possibly happen. Not like he could have explained to me that he granted a wish to her. I was killed, and now he's probably killing. Yoda right now. That's... that's... Uh, no. You know, I extend the funeral song shall herald the coming of the darkness. Why you never speak and play Japanese, miserable poltroon? He's saying the doctor is planning to turn Kawara into a biological weapon. What? We can explain while we walk. Assuming I don't run out of breath. Very well, let us proceed. This is gonna be a long episode. I'm going through to the end of this. Because it looks like we're nearing the end. Kawara, are you alive? No, you're not. Okay. Okay! Go away now, please. I'm not as bad for you, brother! You're not normal! Miserable medical man, what have you done to him? Why, if it isn't the son of the noble Abel family. What is one of your prestige doing here? <laughs> your pathetic jabs mean nothing to me! What have you done to Kawara? I have granted his wish. That is all. It is almost ten. 
The human forces are gathered above. Mr. Kawara must now return to the surface and begin to end the human race. Kawara would wish for no such thing. He would never harm a human. Right, Kawara? You can't speak, can you? Nah, I can't. It seems he's he hesitant to agree with you. <laughs> Blah! If it's swallowed by the demon spores, our voice will not reach him. It's time for us to go. He has but little time left in this world and cannot afford to waste any of it. He has but little time left. What does this mean? His duty is now is to fly about the world spreading the seeds of throughout seeds of throughout all of humanity. It will be a feat impossible for any normal rock dove. Of course, he will be shot at as well. If he were to fall from his wounds, he would die before completing his task. We gotta kill Ryota. We gotta fight him, don't we? What? What happened? There he goes. Mr. Kawara has traded his free will for normally impossible physical tenacity. He's been brainwashed? He's been brainwashed? We have to stop him and bring him back to his senses before he reaches the surface. And I'll go stronger than any of us, and he was then flying just like that! How can we keep him in here? Hmm. Kawara is, is very strong but lacks control right now, right? Maybe we should ask Hikure. What, him? He's nuts! <laughs> Black Bindana. There he goes again, spouting nonsense. Why, Kawar, stop! <laughs> we were thrown across the wall. Oh dear, there goes Shiragane. There when Red Eye speaks, seal the disaster with the power of the Chosen One! What? What? Meh. <laughs> He's reacting. How's that frail loose unable to affect him? What is he doing? Hypnotizing him. According to the documents back there, Higure has the ability to pull others into their his own fantasies and break down their mental restraints. I was talking to the doctor about it earlier, too. I think it's real. A mental restraints? Like, how a desperate man can be stronger than usual? Man, I don't know. <sighs> Demon Red Eye has the awakening. By the power of the bloodstained tent, I seal the funeral song. There we go, perfect. We're supposed to convince we all wanted to stop all ourselves while ourselves being drawn in some bizarre fantasy? This is madness! Don't think about the consequences, Shirogane, just go along with it. Yeah! Prepare yourselves! We fight brethren bound to the red lotus fetters! Oh god, we gotta fight Ryota now? Oh crap. Angel's turn. What do we do? Uh. Black Demon, be silent. Okay. This is the time to break Wall Street's spell. Here to call the Red Lotus! Son's turn. What do we do? <laughs> a violent Re. Oh. A violent Re. Oh. A violent Re. Oh. Come here, Fredrick! That's a turn. What do we do? Come back. Sure, why not? We're all trying our best for you, Kawara. Come back to us. What did that do? Zaki oh. I don't know if it's affecting Ryota or not. There's... Uh... One. Do not care. Do not... Do not plan to destroy all we've gained. Stop, Kawara! That is not the passion for Scrabble! Come on. Do something. What? What? Jeez, Ryota, you're causing every birdie trouble. I don't want to see you like this either. I'm the only Berserker class character this story needs. Wake up already, Ryota! Wait. Was that. That was a soul. Is that mine? Is it mine? Is this supposed to be mine? Kawar, pull yourself together! You want this! No, I, I don't. Really, the Fletcher Terry just trying to exert himself. 
I don't want to make anyone sad. Emitter reactivated? Fascinating. Should not have been possible for some hours yet. Disease is half in the mind, after all. Outlook is surprisingly important. I suppose this means my data was insufficient. As the end, Dark Sorcerer was dead, be judged by the crimson breast! Wait, Angel. It's not just his fault. Why do you protect him? He is the one who did this to you. He did all of it to you. Tell me, Doctor. Why did you go so far to grant my wish? Why did I grant your wish? My reason is nothing of no. It's not worth telling. This is merely an experiment that has now come to an end. You must have had a reason. I have to start to go around talking to children without some purpose. I want to know the answer to everything. The answer is nowhere near as glamorous as you are expecting, I assure you. Oh, go ahead. Why not? I mean, I'm about five seconds from ripping your head off. Good morning, Isa. Sorry to spring this on you, but could you take a look at these? What is it, sir? You seem excited. It's amazing! The healers we got earlier. Healers? Ah, the Hala cells from last month. Yeah, them. The unusually old human. Hating science even after death. Can't we at least call the samples by their proper name? I've always been serious about that, Isa. These, sample are, these samples are like these sweet lovebirds. Touch them with kindness and they respond beautifully. So how many lovebirds do you have again? Perhaps you should call them pet birds instead? Eh, maybe you're right. Anyway, look at this. We've been looking into cancer cell immortality. This... Indeed, these results are amazing. You're quite lucky with these things. It's all about love. Or intuition. That too. What happened? Well, okay. Kawara Ryuji. He is quite possibly the most gifted researcher alive. He has abilities and intuition that not even he can explain. Okay. Ryota's dad, I guess? Or mother? Dad? I think I remember he... I didn't remember at the moment, even though it just passed by, if it was a he or a she. I'm sorry. My brain does not work that way. But I'm making a let's play. Hey, good morning, Isa. Nice weather, huh? Makes me want to do something outside. It's already evening. I believe no one normally switches to good evening about now. It's good morning wherever I get up, Isa. Get distracted by things like common sense and you'll miss the greatest discoveries of your life. Sophistry? That word? Good morning, Asa. Whoopsie, we're low on cash. Here, was this the one? Didn't ask you to pick it up for me. Here, take it. It's not like we're running out. You sound like a pushy salesman. Your right wing is injured, right? What? What? Are you telling me? Are you telling me? Are you fucking telling me? The, the, oh, okay. I, I, hmm? Motherfucker. 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 Good morning, Isa. Can I say something? What is it, sir? I'm somewhat busy. You're always busy. If I wanted for you to take a break, I'd die of old age before I got to say. Talking like this gets nowhere. Guess what? I had a kid. Hmm. I say congratulations. What? Don't you have anything else to say? Not particularly. Reproduction is natural for all living creatures. Of course, were I to become a father, I'd feel bad for the child given my habit of locking myself away in the laboratory. Oh, great. The only bird who I ever recognize. The only one I ever recognize is worthy of my respect. Good morning, Asa. I brought you something cool. What is it? A fossil! Look at it. It's huge. You act like an excited child. Hey, I like geneal geology too. Uh, it tempts me with such... With spruce... Spouse breach. What? I will carry on your research while you are out then. Go on. Dang, you're cold. Hey, let's want to come with me on a business trip sometime? Field observation is fun. My next one's at the start of the month of my uh, 
Well, I am interested in your work, sir. I am partway through a fascinating process at the moment. Perhaps another time. I'll let you next time, then. I bet traveling with you would be a blast. Field observation is not exactly sightseeing. I'll make sure to open time in my schedule, though. His last moments were dreadfully anticlimactic. He fell ill with a disease endemic to the island. By the time we returned home, he was more so emaciated one could barely recognize him. He had watched as many other birds succumb to the disease, so I was sure. Sure that he would die in his examination room, surrounded by his family. So I always knew this was a possibility. Yes, sir. I don't regret the way I did things. No, sir. But I just remembered. I do have one regret. Yes, sir? Never done anything a father's supposed to do. I promised to take off time off for the first time in years. I want you to do me a favor, Isa. If you ever run into my son, you do something for him in my stead. A rather vague request. He's too nice. He don't ever ask for something, even if you wanted it. I suspect he's a, he inherited that trait from his father. Huh. <laughs> anyway, if you ever happen to meet him, you don't have to go out of your way to find him or anything. Very well, I shall remember. What is his name? Ryota. It's Kawara Ryota. Okay, that's not what I thought it was. I thought that the doctor was Ryota's father, but that's not the revel- okay. Still doesn't explain the whole, like, killing Yuya, feeding him to me, then killing- or not killing me. Yeah, killing me. I guess. You could have done that with a oh yeah, okay. Doesn't explain the whole killing Ryota, feeding him to me, and then going on a really fucked up rampage about that. I don't like that. It's not dude. Let's mm. Nothing's okay right now. Nothing nothing's okay right now. Chased your shadow ever since. Is this what they mean by quitting while you're ahead? Or is it just cowardice? No matter how I study life, its past, its future, I will never be able to surpass you. And that was my only goal. Kawara Ryota, the son of Dr. Kawara. Hearing half his genetic material and otherwise unrelated. But this boy... may be the only way for me to catch your shadow now. I don't care! I don't fucking care! You fed me my boyfriend in another timeline. In a different timeline where he wasn't my boyfriend. Still! Fuck you! You almost killed two other people on the way here. When your father died, my world was altered. I might say that his influence over me grew after his death. Boo hoo! You fed me Yuya! You also killed Yuya in this timeline, which is also not okay. You almost killed Nanaki and what Angel put me in a fucking bag and made me pilot a thing. Now I'm apparently a soul flying around the room. Great! Fucking perfect! Ryuji. All I can recall of him now is his voice and the color of his wings. He rarely returned home, even after le leaving mother- always leaving mother and me alone. Did this to carry out my father's will? You misunderstand. This is not just a parting kindness between colleagues. I doubt that there is anyone in this world with a stronger sense of duty than mine. This was his final challenge to me, and you see the result. But your refusal is hardly rational. I was trying to only grant- only to grant your wish, and had you but accepted, it would be so. Are you dissatisfied with something? A world without strife where no one has to with a ha huh. A world without strife where no one will have a loved one stolen from them. That is the world I wish for. I never asked for a world where the human race is killed. Pity that you did not say so eight years ago. What absurd contract is this? There's now power in prayer. I should never have met you. Doctor, my wish ends today. Father is no longer in this world. There's no reason for you to chase after his final will anymore. <laughs> this is me. You are sympathizing with me. Oh, how I have fallen. You can feel his pitying gaze even now. 
Very well, the contract ends today, and I must admit defeat. It's not over yet. Must open the gates of Tartarus from the depths of the abyss. And do what? We only have about ten minutes until the humans come from above. I see you are still alive, gentlemen. Yeah, barely. Very barely. Mr. Lee Han. I bring with me all of those who had taken refuge in the gym. It's like something out of a science fiction movie. But it was built by MIBs. <laughs> Men in black. Ha 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 If there's another Men in Black movie, they better have birds. A bird race. Of sentient birds. I guess nobody's panicking anyway. Mr. Shiragani, I will recover Sakazaki's body before I leave. I have no fear. I am grateful to you. The exit is no doubt activated by the vital signals of the researchers who work here. Correct. Do not fear, I shall lead you to it. So now you're cooperative. Cool. Not gonna ever creep here when he's being cooperative. I know, right? Fuck it. I do not base my actions on foolish pride or emotion. I carried out an experiment and I have now obtained the result. I have nothing more to gain or lose here. You were a sadistic old fuck earlier. Is that everyone? Thank God. Shall we go, Kawara? Can you stand? Uh, yeah, but... We need to bring McFraggle with us. I think everyone else has gone outside. Or I shall not forget what has taken place here. As we are outside, also see that you face judgment. Your words are haughty and immature, as always. Do as you please, if you can. I will indeed. Remember my face, villain! Poofy and adorable! Well, who knows? I find you uninteresting, so I may uninteresting, so I may well forget. I must think carefully about my plans once I am outside. I still have much research to Well, did he get shot? Doctor? Is he shot? And Shad echoes through the room. The doctor collapses. Yes! I don't care anymore! I don't care about that sap, that sad story. He was fucked up, yo. I know that in another timeline, he, this is all like a different timeline entirely where things are learned and stuff, but in another timeline, he still would have fed me Yuya. That's not cool. I'm, I'm pissed about that. Nothing has changed. Hello? What? You did it. Mr. Anaki? A pistol is in his hand. He wobbles over to the doctor with the same unsteady, careless gait as always, and... It's the end of your research. Why didn't you do that earlier? Stop, the doctor should have a fair trial once we... A fair trial? Hmm. What do you think, doctor? Well, I'm impressed that your acuity in attacking my uninjured left side. But of course. Thank you. Tell me, Doctor, you want me? No, Isa. I need to bring him back with me. That's why I've done all this. Tell me. Where is Nagaki? Nagaki points his gun at the immobilized doctor. He looks quite prepared to shoot the partridge dead at any moment. Nagaki's dead. Oh, is that it? <laughs> I had quite forgotten. Mr. Fujishiro's brother. He was a quail. Oh. Oh. So that you're Nagaki's brother? What? Nagaki, are you here by yourself again? You should play in the park with everyone else. I'm fine. I would just get tired. Isn't talking to me a waste of time, Hitori? Always, you've been busy lately, haven't you? I know we're short on money. So that's something you need to worry about. The adults are working hard to make sure you don't have to worry. You're a child too, Hitori. You're only five years older than me, after all. You don't think I should be working? No, it's not what I meant. I just can't do anything. I at least want to stay out of your way. It's not about whether you're doing anything or not. You're part of the family and we need you. That doesn't help. With my body like this, I can't work. I go to school. It's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nagaki. 
Let's go pick up some millet in the yard. It's almost dinner time. Full stomach scares the bad things away, right? September 2nd, 2180. Hottiful House. The rest of the war orphans and I live together. I was always a little better at studying than the others, so I teach at the local school to make ends meet all. Ends meet! Going to work and coming home. Every Friday, we all gather together and have supper. There are children who go to school. There are those who work, like me. And children like Nagihi who stay home. Our family is a patchwork of ages and lives, but we always eat together on this day. What should we have? We might have enough left over, or we could pull our money and buy something. I had more work than usual last month, so I got paid a little more than usual. I got something nice. I'll head home and see what everyone wants first. This day was different. Our home was surrounded by security vehicles. It's an attack by the Human Liberation Front. We can't let anybody in. We sent two human negotiators, but they were shot. We're going to storm the place. Get back, it's dangerous. Are you listening? I remember angry shouts coming from every direction. But I couldn't tell what they were saying. The only thing I could focus on were the gunshots from inside. It was supposed to be our day. No one has ever been missing on a Friday before. No one can disappear today. We have to be together today. No matter what. When I went in, the gunshots had stopped. All that was left was cor were corpses and ruin and... <laughs> everyone... Everyone is covered in blood and mobile. The humans, the security force, and my family. What did we do? We had nothing. Our parents and our homes had already been stolen by the humans. All we had left were each other. Why do they have to keep stealing from us? Why? Why? Sorry. You were outside. Good. Nagihi, you're alive! Anyone else? Let me see. Nagihi was hiding in the innermost room. Must have heard everything from inside his hiding place. Human corpses are scattered throughout the room. Are you afraid, Nagaki? I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault, Itori. I wasn't there when you needed me! Don't apologize, Itori. I don't know how I could live if you were gone, too. When I found him then, I didn't notice, but none of the human corpses in that room had been shot. Oh, yeah, the virus. I forgot. This will be our room from now on. The house is too big for just the two of us. Alright. It's a little... lonely. Yes. Tori, what should I do? Isn't there anything I can do to help? Just have to be happy as well. Don't push yourself. We'll find something for you to do, okay? I noticed almost as soon as we'd moved out of Hotiful House. He was never very healthy to begin with, but he was getting worse and worse. What would start out as a sight... Cold, a slight cold would turn into a high fever and go on for days. It's painful to watch. Is it really just his weak body? He couldn't do anything. Should we get a doctor, Nagaki? I'm fine. I'm fine. Nagaki, wait. You still have a fever. Don't worry about the dishes. I'll take care of them. I told you I'm fine. Don't. If you just say how you feel outright, I'll feel better too, Nagaki, okay? But how about this? Now on, I'm fine isn't allowed. What are you... Whenever you say you're fine, you never are. Okay, fine. Go to bed for now, okay? Tomorrow I'm taking you to a doctor. Who do we... This is highly unusual. Nagaki has a genetic condition which impairs his immune system. All living creatures inherit defense systems against viruses and the likes from their parents, and we call them the immune system. Nagaki is abnormally weak. That's why he gets sick easily. Indeed. You can become infected with diseases that bodies such as yours or mine would fight off easily. It's probably best if he avoids going outside, as that could bring him into contact with more dangerous viruses. He could become seriously ill or with little or no warning. Yes, can you cure him? We'll find whatever money it takes. It's the only family I have left. I understand how you feel, but as I said, his condition is hereditary. I've never seen anything like it. I'm sorry, but I can't help him. I went to many hospitals, and I talked to many doctors. They all said the same thing. I can't help him. 
Someone please save Nagiki. Anyone. We'll do anything. We've been all alone, but we found a home together. It was taken from us. And now this. So please help us. And then... Issa came in to play, huh? Soon after the start of 2183, a letter arrived. It's from a researcher at St. Pigeonation's Medical Institute. Yup. It's the doctor! I received a report about a boy named Fujishiro Nagiki from a school at a certain hospital. From a doctor at a certain hospital. I believe I know what his condition is. It is extremely rare, so my fellow researchers and designer would be grateful for a chance to assist in curing him. We hereby invite you to come study at St. Pigeonation's. I believe that solving the riddle of his sickness will bring great advances to all of Bird's science. The medical center will pay for his tuition. St. Pigeonation's is a school of great prestige. Our curricula and facilities are among the best in the world. The medical center is located on the school grounds. We propose that he live in the center out of concern of his delicate health. He will have access to professional medical expertise anytime he should need it. Please consult with the rest of your family, and if you are interested, contact me with the following address. I'll be waiting. Great. Doctor had a hand in many, destroying many lives, I see. It's amazing, Nagaki. Why we went to so many hospitals and never imagined an invitation like this. I don't want to go. I want to stay with you, Hitori. You'll be able to go to school! I can only teach you what I know, and there's a lot that I don't know. You'll be able to make friends! Doctors there will be helping with your illness, so you won't have to be sick as... Uh, sick, yeah. Do you not want me here, Hitori? Of course I do, but I'm worried. If you were get really sick, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I think it'd be better for you to stay with the doctors. I'd be lonely by myself, but I can wait until you're better. Come strong, Nagaki, and then come back here. I'll wait for you however long it takes. Okay. So Nagaki enrolled in St. Pigeonations. There'd been a lot of us at Hotiful House, and after that I was with Nagaki. I was only living by myself for the first time, but I was more worried about Nagaki. I hope he makes good friends, but he's never been very sociable. At least we'll have an easier time there than here. At least you'll have an easier time, easier life there than here, and most importantly, they'll be looking for a cure. No, they won't. Summer of that year, he sent a lot of letters home. Going to be undergoing intensive treatment over the summer. I wanted to come home, but they said it would be better for me. How are you? I'll write again soon. I asked Dr. Issa about a meeting, but he said no. I'm not the only one here with an unusual illness, and they have to be very careful about who comes in. Eh. Summer's half over now. Is it hot out? The basement of the center is always the same light and the same temperature. Well, summer, I guess. I miss you, Hitori. I'm fine. I'm fine, Hitori. Don't worry about me. I'm fine is not allowed in this household. I was worried. Nagi had told me he was fine since he promised not to three years ago. What are they doing to him? Are they doing something bad to him? I tried calling Dr. Asa, but he always replied with progress is good and everything is fine. If everything is fine, why won't they let me talk to him? I snuck into the medical center. I need to know if he's really alright. He said he was undergoing intensive care in the basement. That must be where he is. How do I get there? I need to talk... I need to the entrance. I head to the entrance of the basement. That's when I heard the alarm. I hear urgent footsteps and the sound of wings. This building has all the most advanced equipment. They must have noticed me. I was greeted at the corner not by guards, but by panicked researchers. All shouting at the same thing, all heading for the exit. Fire! Fire! What? Fire. Subject 00 set a fire. Call the fire department. Black smoke rolls towards me to the from the innermost corridors. Nagiki, where's Nagiki? Nagiki, say something, please. Where are you? It's happening again. Nagiki needs me, and I'm not there. I always leave him alone when he's in pain. The smoke is clogging my lungs with its foul stench. But I run onwards anyway. Nagiki is there in a room filled with fire. Nagiki, it's me, Tori. I'm here to save you. What happened? What did they do to you? 
Come on, we have to get you out of here. I'm sorry. His face is clouded. He shuts the door and I hear the lock click shut. Open the door! Nagaki! Tori, I can't go outside anymore. I can't live anymore. What did they do to you? Fool. All this time I thought you were getting better, though you'd come home cure thought you'd come home cured. I should be the one apologizing. Nagaki, please. Come with me to our home. Sinatori. I recorded everything that happened here and hid it in the library. It's wrong. This is the only way to stop them. What are you talking about? We can talk later. I can't let you die. Can you do me a favor? You talk anything, please. And, please, make sure there's nothing left of my body. And... Kill the bastard? Uzune Hitori. I heard they died after the fire, but it would seem that our investigation was lacking. It's hardly easy to change your name and face. Nagaki is calling. He's calling me, you know? Isa. came to greet Nagaki. Where is he? He's... I see you're losing hold of your sanity. I'm serious. I've been waiting for this time from the beginning. You told me that you were do what you were doing to him here. Then you closed the facility. I've been waiting for this, Isa. Waiting for you to open this place again. Ever since I joined the faculty. He's here, isn't he? Nagaki. There were indeed some pieces of him left after the fire. They would have degraded in mere hours had I left them. If it pleases you to call these bits of meat Fujishu or Nagaki, I will not attempt to stop you. But those pieces have already been transferred to Mr. Kawara's, bo Mr. Kawara's body. Don't die just yet, Isa. Don't worry. Don't worry. So tell me, where is Nagaki? I have to take him home now. By Nagaki, you mean what was left of him after the fire, then it is Mr. In Mr. Kawara's liver. Cells of his body that contain the Karen virus are now inside Mr. Kawara, parasitizing him. Oh, is that it? I see. Thank you, Isa. Hang on just a little longer, Isa. I need to ask Nagi what he thinks we should do with him. Do with you. Mr. Kawara comes over to me, the same soft smile on his face as when he teaches class. Can you hear me, Nagaki? Sorry I made you wait so long. I'm here now. Sir, it's me, Kawara Ryota, come from your class. Snap out of it. I don't know what happened in the past, Nanaki, but this is not the time for such foolery. We have only a few more minutes left before the humans enter the school grounds. I don't want them long. I don't take them long to find this place. Did you move over, over a second, Shirogane? I need to talk to Kawara. Points the gun at Sakuya. Sakuya, he's serious. It's too noisy in here. Come on, Kawara, let's go into that room. Just the two of us. No, I would not like to, thank you. What are you thinking? Are you planning to lock yourself in? Open the door! Open it, I say! He just said he's in your liver, didn't he? Where's the liver, I wonder? Mm -hmm. Sir, he would never have wanted this. Stares thoughtfully at my stomach, a knife in his hand. My body feels weak. <clears throat> I think I must have put too much into that fight earlier. I won't be able to resist. Nagaki. 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 Can you hear me? I've come to save you again. Where are you? Tell me. What part of Kawara do I need to op cut open to find you? Nagaki. 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 Okay, I get it. Nagaki. Sir, listen to me! He opens the knife from one place to the uh, to another, as if making an estimation. He's going to... Oh, I see. It's hide and seek. I'll look as hot as I can, then. Just a little longer. I'll be able to go home in just a little bit, Nagihi. Together. Mm -hmm. Stop it, Hitori. What? Hmm? The knife is stuck deep into the wall under my wing. I can hear Nagaki's voice, but I can't see him. The voice is coming from inside me. Mr. Kawara, let me use your body for a bit. Okay, go ahead. Fine, I don't, I don't mind. Can you hear me, Hitori? Of course. 
talked with you every night. He told me, Nagi. He told me to come at get you. He told me to exact revenge on Issa. No, Hitori, that was not me. I never told you to do that. Have you forgotten what I asked you to do, Hitori? Second thing. I remember, of course I remember. So let's go home. Listen, Hitori, I am no longer here. I can no longer go home with you. Who said that? Oh, I see. It was Issa, wasn't it? Only he would say something mean like that. No, it wasn't him. Don't worry, Nagi. I'll take care of him in a minute. Don't worry. Hitori, I never asked for you to come for me. I never asked you to exact revenge. Who was it? Nagiki. It was Nagiki. I died because of you. You abandoned me here. I never wanted to come here. It was you who killed me. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. Okay. I don't have to repeat it. I will not forgive Hitori. Sorry, Nagiki. I know that no apology will ever fix it. Sir, what? There's a shadow in Hitori's heart. His own shadow pretending to be mine. Come for me, Hitori. I'm here. I know, I know. I don't want to be alone. I don't want you to be alone. You will never forget me. You will live with me. You will live with your sin forever. That's what you want, isn't it? If you want me to carry this pain, I will, Nagi. I won't ask for forgiveness. I won't. He's crying. Tortured by his own shadow. I'm sorry, Nagi. I'm sorry. Tori, I don't want you to be in pain. He's trying to destroy his feelings of guilt. He wants to be saved. If you're here, his pain will go away. Help me save him. Yes. So what do we do? Hitori. I was tortured by them here in this place. It was terrible. Isa and the others should die in... Should die in pain. All of them should die. As long as they live, my pain will never disappear. Mr. Nanaki. Pendrel solved nothing. Sir, you and Nakiki both lost those important to you to strife. You should know best of all people that revenge helps no one. It brings no happiness, only pain. If I hadn't been there, Nakiki would have died. I was never there when he needed me. I'm sorry, Nakiki. If I had been there, if I had been better, this wouldn't have happened. Everything would have been fine if you had never, if you'd never met me. If I hadn't been there, you'd never would have felt pain. Sir, why? Why do you think he was... Mm. I don't know, why are you doing this to yourself? I think it's, the time Nike he spent with you was his greatest treasure. I know how wonderful it is to be able to be together with loved ones, too. Nagiki is glad he got to be with you, sir. There's nothing to regret. Come with me, Hitori. Look at me, Hitori. Hear only my voice, Hitori. I will tear your heart to pieces. When it heals, I will tear it again, and again, and again. That is your punishment. It's wonderful to live with me again. Wonderful. Hitori. Blame yourself no more! Listen to me. The voice you hear is that of your own shadow. You've been hurting yourself all this time. Stop blaming yourself. I don't want to see you in pain. You asked me for two things, Nagiki. The first was, come save me. So listen to me, Hitori. The first was, wish was for you to make my body disappear from this world. As long as I live, as long as my body remains, someone is, will try to use the Karen virus. That virus must disappear, and my body with it. It will bring only sadness as long as it remains. You asked for one other thing. You asked me to take revenge on Dr. Issa. On all those who brought you pain. Yes, I need to grant that wish. I need... Hitori! No, Hitori. That was not my wish. Remember, Hitori, my final wish was... It's not about whether you're in doing anything or not. You're part of the family and we need you. That doesn't help. With my body like this, I can't work or go to school. 
It's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nangiki. Let's go pick up some millet on the, in the yard. It's almost dinner time. Full stomach scares away bad things, right? Right? What a beautiful sunset. I guess it's autumn already. Are you cold, Nagaki? I'm fine. You sorry. Hmm. It'd be easier for you without me, right? Why do you think that? I heard you and the others talking about it. Medicine costs a lot more than food. You're paying for it out of your salary, right? If you had that money for yourself, you could buy better food. You wouldn't have to work so much. So you'd be better off without me. Don't say that, Nagiki. I don't care about fancy food or free time. You're more important than any of that. You mean more to us than you think, Nagiki. You were very young when you came here, so maybe you don't remember, but losing family is hard. I want to stay like this, watching over the people I love forever. So listen. Maybe it looks like I'm working just for you, but it's for me too. Seeing you happy makes me happy. Thank you, Tori. Just wish I wasn't such a burden to you. Stop that already! You've never been a burden to me. Here, have some millet. Eat well and we can sleep well, too. Let's hope for good dreams, okay? <laughs> Feels... Feels... Hope we can stay like... Stay with everyone like this forever. Yes. Yes. My second wish was... Live, Hitori. Live and be happy. I can't be happy. You're gone. I can't be with you anymore. Look at me, Hitori. I want you to live. You don't have to feel guilty for me. I couldn't tell why I was still here. First I thought my remains, the parts of me that were inside Mr. Kawara now, were keeping me here. But I don't think so now. I think I was worried. Worried that you wouldn't be able to keep going alone. I can't, Nagaki. I can't go on without you. I don't want to live without you. You've stayed here too long, Hitori. We have to move on. Don't worry. We'll meet again. Somewhere. Sometime. Mr. Kawara, thank you. No problem. Kawara, are you unhurt? Yeah, I'm fine. How unexpected. For me, your insides would have been divulged, would have divulged themselves and their secrets long ago. Want to shoot his foot? Just hand me the gun. Shoot his foot. It's fine. Not okay. I will not forgive this man. Don't worry about it, Sakuya. It's already over. We need to get out. We're already out of time. Indeed. <clears throat> I think I've been talking too much. My voice is starting to go. I don't normally record for an hour. I think he was kept frozen here, right, Doctor? Indeed he was. The facility was sealed off, so it was hardly difficult to keep people from snooping around. I'm staying here with Dude Butt. What are you saying, Kawara? No. What are you saying, Kawara? Come with us at once. I see. Kawara. I thought you would say that. The Karen virus has now colonized your body quite completely. If you to leave, any humans you encounter would suffer a painful death. What? Was this your plan all along, you conniving physician? Surely there is a way to remove the virus. Alas, that would be impossible with current medical technology. Once established in the body, it is quite tenacious. Even if we were to remove the tissues from Mr. Fujishiro, Mr. Kawara would still carry the virus. Madness! What a say! The same goes for Miss McCraggle's damaged brain. It is currently preserved inside a glass jar, but just barely. Indeed, given Labor 9's behavior and the subsequent damage that she was dealt, there's no guarantee that her personality and memories are still retrievable. Current medical technology, anyway. Shiragane, let's go outside. You mean to leave Kawara here? How deep does your selfish nature... <coughs> Excuse me. We'll come back for him. It's impossible now, but one day we may be able to remove the virus from his body. I think that Nagaki would say the same. Well, Mr. Shiragane, I think perhaps you would do well to respect Mr. Kawara's thoughts in the matter. 
So we're being put in stasis now? Well, as if this one day has brought an entire lifetime's worth of fatigue. I just want to rest for a little while. I'm right about Mother. Saki, so could you tell her I'll be back one day? You better. Listen, Kawara, a lapel, no. I never go back on my word. No matter how long it takes, I will come back for you. I swear! So, promise me, please. Promise me that you'll leave this place with me, alive. Right. I promise, I'll be waiting for you. And now we're in stasis, a pair. What sure happened today, dude, bud? This mean we're finally getting into recap mode, Ryota? I'm half sick of being stuck out here without even- not even knowing what's going on. <laughs> yes, I guess you could- you only got to see bits and pieces of the story. Yep, so fill me in, please. I guess we have plenty of time for it. I'm gonna miss eating Udon. Having you here makes things a little bit easier, right? Where do I start? Everything that's happened, every, what's happening now, and everything that might happen one day. We have plenty of time to talk about it all. Well, crap! Ugh. Ugh. Holy shit, that... Oh my god. Ow, my arm. I've been sitting weird. Ow. Ow. Ow, my arm. Sitting weird that whole time. Ah, it hurts. A little bit. Oh. Well, shit. We didn't die. Except for you, yeah. I'm still pissed about that. Still very, very pissed about- No birds were harmed during the making of this game. Yuya was. Twice. Still pissed about that. Still very upset about everything right now. <sighs> Great. What? Music suddenly stopped. It's like, okay. So, I think that was the end of everything ever. There should not be any more endings. But you never know. What? There's Hitori. There's the doctor. There's Ryuji. And, ah, it's adorable. <laughs> it's all adorable, except for that one in the back left there. I do not like him at all. I would prefer to shoot him a few hundred more times, but you never know. Not gonna happen yet. Very mad about that. Anyway. Oh, right, that's the other thing. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me for Hot Up a Boyfriend. Holy crap, that took forever. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to T. Cower and Show for supporting me on Patreon this month. And I'll see you guys in the next video. There is another hot awful boyfriend game, Holiday Star. And I think it's in a different universe than this one because apparently shit hit the fan in this one. But I'll give that a shot around like Christmas or something. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! Alright, for class, maggot! It's all a man dressed in Marine Drill Sergeant uniform. Shouts at you before you even end them. Even halfway through the door. Oh, shit, son! Titans. <laughs>